Oh boy, here we go, here we go, iPhone 12, here we go. Hey guys, Sydney here, uh, so iPhone 12 crazy cool camera and crazier cool camera features. And what's crazier is that the tech in phones just get better every single year, which makes filmmaking on a phone a lot more feasible and a lot more efficient. Still, regardless of the tech, you're still gonna need accessories to level up your filmmaking game if you wanna film high quality videos on a phone. And so today we're gonna talk about 20 accessories, really, 20 accessories? 20 filmmaking accessories to use on a phone to film high quality videos, wow. That's a, that's a lot of accessories. All right, let's start. So regardless of whatever phone you have, whether it's the iPhone 12 Pro or the normal iPhone 12 or older iPhones, and it doesn't have to be an iPhone, whatever phone you have, you're gonna need some sort of case to not only protect it, but also add accessories to your phone. We're gonna talk about three of them, but the first one is from SmallRig, and it's the SmallRig Pro mobile cage for iPhone. Now obviously this is for the iPhone 11 Pro, but when the cage comes out for the iPhone 12 Pro, I'll make sure to update that product link. And if you wanna check out the gear mentioned from this video, then all those things will be down in the description below. Now this is a really cool cage from SmallRig, and if you don't know SmallRig, they make really cool cages for uh, pretty much every camera out there. Cages are great to add on accessories, like a monitor, a microphone, really handy on a professional set. And so the fact that they have a, a mobile cage version for iPhone, that's, that's really cool. With this version, there's a cold shoe mount, so if you wanna attach a mic on it or a light uh, on your phone, you can. There's also a cold shoe mount on the adjacent side, as well as a quarter 20 thread if you want to mount your phone on a tripod or gimbal and we'll be talking about those things later. So that's a small rig mobile cage. Now that may seem a little too intimidating, especially for just casual use. So the next case I wanna mention is a little more casual, but you can also attach some accessories on your phone. And that case is the Light Chaser Pro from Polar Pro. What's really cool about this kit is that not only do you get the protective case, but you also get a couple of filters. There's a three to five stop variable ND filter, which is good to, to cut down the exposure of your shot. You also get a circular polarizer, which is really great to cut down on reflection. And then you get this rubber side grip to help you hold the phone better as you're filming. Like I said before, what I really like about this case is that it's not too intimidating. Like you can still film videos whenever you want to, but still keep the case on the phone and just use it every day. So that is the Light Chaser Pro from Polar Pro. If you're looking for a case that's a lot more casual than that, then I would go with the Moment iPhone 12 Thin Case. It's definitely not as intimidating as the other two cases mentioned, but it's a thin, really cool case where you can add a drop-in lens mount and use those really cool lenses and filters from Moment. So there you go, you have the Small Rig Pro Mobile Cage, you've got the Polar Pro Light Chaser Filmmaking Kit, and then you have the Moment iPhone 12 Thin Case. All right, moving on to audio. There are three that I recommend. The first mic that I really love is the Rode Video Mic Me. This is a really good mic and I've used this before, really good quality. And what's great about this specific mic is that you can just clip it onto the lightning port of your iPhone. What's also really great about this particular mic is that there is a headphone jack behind it. And so if you want to monitor the audio, like if you're interviewing someone or you just wanna hear what it sounds like, then plug in your headphones to the Rode Video Mic Me. And if you do plan on getting this mic, then you gotta have some sort of windshield so that you can reduce that nasty wind sound. If you use the mic as is, then you're definitely gonna hear the wind if you're filming outside. So to prevent that, us filmmakers like using some sort of windscreen or windshield to cut down that wind noise. And the one that I recommend is obviously from Rode. This is the Rode WS9 Deluxe Windshield for the Rode Video Micro and Video Mic Me. Oh, I mentioned before that the Rode Video Mic Me has a headphone jack behind it. You can use whatever headphones you want, but if you really wanna level up and show off when you're on set, then I would go with the Sony MDR 7506 head Headphones. These headphones have been like the standard to monitor audio on set and in post-production. And so if you're filming with a phone and you're wearing some boss headphones like this on set, people will be like, what are you doing? Crazy. The next mic I recommend and I absolutely love is from Deity and it's the Deity D4 Duo. This mic is really cool because not only can you capture audio from the front, but you can capture audio from the back by flipping the switch on top. It's a pretty awesome mic, very similar to the Rode Video Mic Me, except with the DD D4 Duo, you get two mic capsules instead of one. The only thing with this mic, like if you wanna use it with an iPhone, you're gonna have to use a lightning cable adapter. You can get those on Amazon, there's like a ton there. And the one that I recommend is this little adapter right here. The last mic that I wanna recommend is a wireless mic and it's the Rode Wireless Go. I freaking love this wireless kit. It's amazing, especially for interviews. You just simply put the lav mic on your subject, attach that to the transmitter, and then on your iPhone, connect the receiver so that you can record audio wirelessly. If you don't have a lav mic, not to worry because the transmitter has a built-in mic already and so 
that's cool. This is a really great wireless audio kit and would actually work really well with that small rig cage that we talked about. Yeah, that would work really well because of that cold shoe mount. Ooh, ooh, nice, I can, I can just see it. All right, gonna take a break. Uh, okay, break over. All right, now let's talk tripods. You're gonna need some sort of tripod, whether it's a mini tabletop tripod or an actual tripod. I'm gonna recommend a few, and the first one I wanna talk about is from Joby. This is the Joby Gorillapod 3K Pro Kit. This little tripod is like famously known to vlog with. It's a great little tripod. You can bend it however you want. You can attach it to like tree branches if you want to, and really is a perfect pair with the iPhone 12 if you want to vlog with the iPhone 12. If you don't plan on getting a cage or a case for your iPhone, you're gonna need some sort of iPhone mount to attach your phone to the Joby Gorillapod, at which point then I recommend Joby's Griptite Pro Smartphone Mount. It's a very simple smartphone mount which can support the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. There's also a smaller and all-in-one version of that Joby setup, and it's the Joby Griptite Pro 2. It looks like the legs are a little bit smaller, but it does include the smartphone mount, and so if you're looking for something like that, then definitely check that out. All right, so if you are planning on using the iPhone 12 to film interviews or YouTube videos like this, then you're gonna need a proper tripod, and one that I recommend is one of my favorites, and it's this. It's the Photo Road Trip Travel Tripod. I have this tripod, I've had it for like, five plus years now, still strong, it's amazing, lightweight, great to travel with. And what's really cool about this particular tripod is that you can detach the middle part and use it as a monopod. It's seriously one of my favorite tripods of all time and I definitely, definitely recommend it. All right, here we go. Let's talk about some really, really fun toys. If you really wanna level up your filmmaking game with an iPhone, then you gotta get some sort of slider. Having some sort of sliding movement just ups the level of your videos. Like the production quality just goes mm. And the one that I recommend is my favorite slider of all time, and it's the Rhino Rove Pro. There's an eight inch version, which is the one I have, but if you want a longer track, there's also a 16 inch version. I personally love the eight inch version because you can just fit it in a backpack and take it anywhere. It's rough, it's rugged, and works seamlessly. And so if you're looking for a reliable slider for your iPhone, then definitely check out the Rhino Rove Pro. Woo, all right, gimbals, we gotta have gimbals, right? Now gimbals can be very clunky, especially if you're using heavier cameras, but the iPhone 12 is not a heavy camera, it's a phone. And I think the perfect gimbal for the iPhone 12 is from Zhiyun. It's the Zhiyun Crane M2. I freaking love this gimbal, it's super tiny. In fact, it's right over there sitting on my shelf. It supports small cameras like the Canon M50 or the Sony ZV-1, and of course can support smartphones up to one and a half pounds. The iPhone 12 Pro Max weighs about just over eight ounces, and so, the Zhiyun Crane M2 can absolutely support that. All right, we got sliders, we got gimbals. What else do we need? Ah, we need lights. Good lighting is just essential for all types of filmmaking. Now you can get a three light kit if you want to do like proper interviews, but if you're looking for a small portable light that you can take anywhere, then the one that I would go with is the Aperture MC light. I freaking love this light because not only is it bicolor, but it's RGB as well. So you can show all the colors in the RGB spectrum. I take this light everywhere I go. It sits in my camera bag. And so if you are looking for a light for your iPhone 12, then definitely check out the Aperture MC. Okay, almost done folks, here we go. All right, so when you're filmmaking, sometimes filming can take a long time and you don't know if your iPhone's gonna last that long, especially if you're filming in 4K. To play it safe, I like having a power bank nearby to charge it or use it while I'm filming. The one that I recommend is from Anchor. They make great products and this power bank I highly recommend. It has 20,000 milliamps and so like you can charge multiple devices at the same time and you can use this to keep powering up your iPhone as you're filming. Super easy to use and great to travel with and I think everyone should have some sort of power bank. If you don't got one, get one. Now, a controversial topic from the iPhone 12 is that they don't come with the power bricks anymore. But if you are looking for a USB-C power brick, then the one that I recommend is from Anchor as well, and it's the Anchor Nano iPhone Charger. It looks like a typical iPhone charger, but it supports USB-C. And so if you're looking for a power brick that plugs into the wall, then definitely check out the Anchor Nano. A color tracker is great to have as well because it'll help you white balance all your scenes in post. There's many options out there, but the one that I use is the Spider Checker. And then of course, I have to recommend the AirPods Pro. I love the AirPods, I think they're fantastic. And if you are editing videos on your iPhone 12, then you wanna be able to hear what you're editing. If you have headphones already, great. If you have wireless headphones, even better. But I just wanted to list the AirPods Pro because I just, I just think they're great. Ah!
All right, let's talk about apps. So if you're filming videos with an iPhone or really pretty much any mobile device, Filmic Pro is my go-to app to film high quality videos. You can choose whatever frame rate you want. You can lock in exposure. It's such a versatile app and nearly like 90% of all filmmakers use Filmic Pro. There's a free version, which is great, but if you wanna lock all the features, then obviously you just have to upgrade. I think it's like, what, 10 bucks? Five bucks, 10 bucks, I'm not sure. Definitely worth the upgrade in my opinion, but at least there's a free version if you wanna check it out. Now to edit your videos, there's a lot of apps that are really great, but the one that I absolutely love is from Adobe and it's Premiere Rush. It's super easy to use and if you have a Creative Cloud account, you can actually sync your media and sync your projects from your phone to your computer, which is sick. So if you wanna edit videos on your phone, Adobe Premiere Rush is your app. And then of course, if you wanna take high quality photos, like maybe for a YouTube thumbnail, the best app to edit your photos is Adobe Lightroom. It's simple, easy to use, and if you do have a Creative Cloud account, you can sync your photos from your phone to your desktop. So definitely check that out if you wanna edit your photos. And finally, the last accessory that I recommend if you plan on using the iPhone 12 to film your video projects is a backpack. You've gotta have a backpack to store everything. And the one that I recommend for your iPhone 12 filmmaking kit is from Brevity, and it's the Brevity Jumper Photo Backpack. This is like the perfect everyday backpack. Like there's a compartment for all your camera accessories, and there's a compartment for like snacks and clothes, and even a compartment to put your laptop in. And so it's a great backpack, and I think the perfect backpack to house all those accessories for your iPhone 12, or 12 Pro, or 12 Pro Max. And end scene. Wow, that was a lot. Well, if you wanna check out all those accessories, the product links, all of them will be down in the description below, so have fun with that. But if you wanna see more of my content, then you can click or tap on this video here or over here. I, I don't know, I'm just assuming they're there. But thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one. Woo.